we have a customer that asked us to help the, us do a trash out for their apartment. So all of this is from roaches. Their bodies, kind of, they kind of shed. That's what all that is. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, Steve Wolf here in Tampa. We're actually in a condo complex in Pinellas Park. We have a customer that asked us to help the, us do a trash out for their apartment because they are moving into a larger home. They want to make sure that a lot of the contents that are here aren't taken into the new home. They're gonna do a fresh restart. So stick with us as we fill up this entire dump trailer with contents and we make sure that the, house, the apartment is nice and clean so that when she goes to move out that she can get her deposit back. Anything tasty? Definitely. We got some public public stuff. The Northerner Watchers Publix is a grocery store down here. It's a staple here in the cell. Best thing for Publix is pub subs. <laughs> you, I don't know what you guys like for, for like a sandwich shop. So all of this is from roaches. So what happens is they, their bodies kind of, they kind of shed and stuff and even die and lay eggs and that's what all that is. There you go, perfect. What I want to do is I want to put some moisture on it, kind of break it up. Then I'm going to sweep it up afterwards. But a lot of the stuff was pushed in and and baked in pretty much into the floor. So first thing you do is you saturate it, rehydrate that material so that it's easier for you to pull up, and then you're able to kind of really agitate it and move it around so that it can come off. If you don't clean the floor before you put contents on it, you're just kind of applying pressure to that, that dirt and debris, and it starts to compact into the floor. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna have to do multiple layers to kind of hydrate and bring the bring this back to life. Okay, we're good. That's I'm not doing it. it. I got what I needed out of that. Mm, delicious. Mm. Here is 
a nice loaf of bread for you. Mm. Little yeast. So I'm done with it. Uh, we're just testing to see what it is. It's so warm. It'll. And it's just some unknown liquid. Here we see quite a large nest of roaches. You'll see that some of them have wings and sacks of eggs that are hanging off of them because they are reproducing. Typically when you see them in that that nest like that, it's because they've recently reproduced. This is what we're gonna focus on now. We have items like this, lovely cup. Gotta make sure you see the cat. Talk about the corrosiveness of soda. Starting to eat through the cup and everything. So the clothes in here are gonna be keep items, okay? And the only thing that she was concerned about is there were a couple items at the base of the door by the bathroom that were gonna be heavily soiled because that's a high traffic point for them. We found money, we find documents that are important to the family. She has the CPAP machine. What this does is it pressurizes air because people that use this typically stop breathing in the middle of the night. Okay, so what this does is ensures that you consistently have airflow throughout the night and you can, cons you can breathe. But if you're having trouble breathing, you also want to make sure that, that, that the air that you are breathing is clear of all contaminants. Bag number seven. I feel like I'm going to find, let's say, five more. Count them with me. I don't know how many I said. I think I said five. Maybe I said seven. I don't care. I think I'm going to go through both those numbers. We already had two. Hold on. Three. Four. Five. Six. This one doesn't count. This is a Donian, Donian Burke. Seven. I found more bags. Hold on. One. Fear of Bradley. Same as the set. Look, look. Same as the set. Another bag. What do you guys think this is? I got another one. And another one. And then a little pouch. But every Vera Bradley thing, uh, bag that they sell in this design is here in this apartment. We are easily over 20 bags now. And come here. We haven't even started digging through that, but you can see right there, there's bags right there, okay? We are wrapping up day one at this Pinellas Park Ford. At day one, still have a lot of work to do. The homeowner had a high anxiety and was concerned about a lot of the things that were gonna be removed while she was at work today. So we pretty much stayed away from the things that were mission critical for her. Next, what we're doing right now is the kitchen is clean, main entryway is clean. We have a common area in the living room and dining room. Stay tuned for day two. Hey guys, Nathan here. So it's day two at this ward here in Pinellas Park. The game plan for today is we're, we're tackling the master bedroom, the master bathroom. We're kind of cleaning out some of the middle areas, re-cleaning some of the spots because there still is animals in the home. So they kind of re-dirty things as we go. Stay tuned, there's still plenty of roaches, plenty of dog poop and pee, plenty of dirty stuff for you guys to, to watch, so.
Yeah, this is what we found. I'm not too sure what's in it. Um, I kind of don't want to know. <laughs> but at least it's from a restaurant. So hopefully it's not any other bodily fluids. Guys, on today's segment of Nathan and Nature, right? We are going to the unknown. We're venturing into unknown, uncharted territory. So you get to experience this raw with me right here. You ready? Let's go. What kind of crazy critters and creatures we can find. Whoa, yes. As you can see, we have plenty of friendly cockroaches here. Some of my favorite, this is Walter. He has asthma. This is uh, Kyle. These guys are pretty cool actually. I've known them for a long time. Right now we have finished cleaning out the mattress in the master bedroom. This mattress was covered with different items, maybe about two feet up off the bed. We finally have now made it down to the mattress itself. From here, we are going to take the mattress up and get rid of it and then start cleaning underneath the bed frame. And see where that takes us. continuing to clean out the master bedroom we have been finding a bunch of empty pill bottles but we also unfortunately come across a few um, uh, hypodermic needles and so we're gonna have to dispose of these in our sharp container out on the dam. One of the dangers of working on this job you never know what you're gonna find. This one's got the handles. <laughs> oh! Shauna, don't look behind the box. Just don't look behind the box. That's because they're all coming in front of the box. Oh! Yeah, I had to use the bathroom, but the line was too long. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're doing right now at this at this stage is we're doing the same thing we did in the living room over here, which was all these contents are being kept. Um, we're, they're waiting on the, the moving company to come move all this stuff to the new location. cockroach colony. They don't suspect a thing. Uh, but we're about to annihilate an entire race of cockroaches here. The bathroom is starting to look a lot better than when we first got in here. We've cleaned out all the medicine cabinets, the cabinets below, uh, vacuumed up any extra critters that may have been crawling around. Um, so now it's the time where we are going to deep clean the walls, the counters, floors, and uh, the bathtub behind you. So now's the fun part. So 
what we are doing is I sprayed this entire wall down with our shockwave, so our disinfectant. I let it sit there for a moment. Now I'm coming behind with a scrub daddy and a wipe ball and just doing clockwise, counterclockwise, and then wiping it back down again because I just want to make sure I'm not leaving any residue after I wipe this wall down. As you can see here, we have a very large amount of cockroach poop all down here. It looks like little, looks like little like uh, like poppy seeds from a poppy seed bagel. It's looking pretty good now. I just have to pull out this dryer to clean up this. I've already uh, cleaned this. There's a bunch of bugs, but that's no big deal. We're just gonna vacuum them up off the walls or behind the dryers or washers. They're stuck in the clothes a little, so we'll shake them out and pick them up with the vacuum. But other than that, after the vacuum, you just spray it with shockwave, make sure it's all clean, wipe down all the baseboards, and good to go. guys end of day two here we got this board done we sorted and, and, and segmented whatever we needed to do she, uh, the client was very happy uh, with the progress we made uh, movers are coming to get the rest of the stuff the house looks real clean things are piled up certain ways because those are the items that um, the homeowner wants to keep so um, the homeowner is is moving apartments from one to a different from one to another um, those were the items that wanted to be kept. So there's a moving company coming um, in a few days to pick that stuff up. Um, but for the move out inspection of the apartment, once that stuff is gone, somebody would have had to clean it. So what we did is we segmented as we moved stuff, we cleaned underneath it, moved the items back. So that way when they 
movers come to get all the stuff. It's nice and clean underneath. It's, it's move out ready um, and it's ready to go. So those were all the items that were piled separately, sorted based on like items, right? So bathroom items, toothbrush, toothpaste kind of in one area. And then, you know, all those clear bags had clothing items and things like that. In so it's, it's a good day for Spalding Decon. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.